Okay, um, last time we got our, let's go back, we had a white page. We added a vanishing point and a horizon and we made it faded by double clicking on that layer and changing the opacity. Then we add another layer for our vanishing lines which we would use later. And then we added our boxes and that's our full opaque and we drew three boxes that were along our road and we used our vanishing lines to help us guide. So you should be able to turn off your vanishing lines and you should be able to see your horizon, your road, and your three boxes or more. So what we're going to try to get to for the final on this assignment is something like this. We will have windows and I want you to notice that on the front side of these boxes just like the boxes, they're perfect rectangles. Rectangle, 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 rectangle. All of these are rectangles. But on the sides, while we logically know that those are rectangles if we were turned around looking at them, these are not rectangles. The sides of the windows are perfectly vertical, but the horizontal lines, which would normally be perfectly horizontal, they're slanting up or downward, depending on where they are, in proximity to our vanishing lines. And I also added roofs. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I've got myself started on this page where I've drawn these rectangles already for the windows and doors on the front sides of the building. And I was able to use the rectangle tool to make those. What I want to do now is figure out where my vanishing lines are going to be. So, I'm going to go to the Vanishing Lines layer. I'm going to click on it so it's blue. I'm going to get my Line tool, make sure that that is size 1, and choose a color. I'm going to zoom in, control with the scroll wheel, and I'm a little persnickety. You don't have to be as persnickety as me. I want my windows on the side to line up with this door. So I'm going to go look at my coordinates down in my right hand corner and I see that my coordinates say 147, 325. 325 is my height. That's my Y. So I'm going to move my mouse over here but I still want it to be at 325. And I got lucky. It still is. So I'm going to click and I'm going to draw a line that goes from there all the way to my vanishing point. When I do windows later, I can, I want this to all be windows so I can decide, I can just decide where I want the bottom of those windows to be. So this line is going to be easy because my horizon line just matches up with it. This one, let's look at my Y coordinate, it's 143, 143, I hope. And now I'm ready to draw my windows on this box. So I'm going to click on the boxes layer. I'm going to choose the color black. I'm going to decide where I want that window to start. Click, hold the shift key, drag straight down. And I'm going to notice what the X coordinate was here. It was 190. So we're going to do a line at 190 here as well. 188, 190, oh, I think I got it. So I'm going to hold the shift key and drag it down. And then we're going to go over here and do another shift key. Drag it down. Notice what it is. It is at 115. Go over here and try to get to one. Did I say that was at 115? It's 129. So let's try that again. Oh, I got it. I don't want my. I don't care about my x coordinate here. I want my y. My, I want my x coordinate, not my y coordinate. So my x coordinate here is 206. If it's wide, it's x. 206. Now I can connect these windows.
go from just follow that vanishing line that I drew earlier so your goal for this assignment is to have at least three boxes to have at least two openings on each box you can do more if you look at mine I did do more so I have one two on this one two on that and four on that I certainly had room that I could have done more another extra that you can do is that you can add roofs and let me show you how I did do the roofs on this see those extra lines I just did what I want you to notice is this roof we're looking at the peak of the roof that's facing us this one the peak of the roof is facing 90 degrees from us so to do that what I did was I went to my vanishing lines layer and I chose a new color and I drew an X on the side of the building that I want going corner to corner that I want the peak of the roof to be so just to be different I'm gonna do this one we'll see the peak of this roof and then going from the center of the X I'm going to draw a line straight up use the shift key to where I want the peak of the roof to be that helps me find the middle for the peak of the roof now I'm going to go to the boxes layer and draw my roof so I'd like that roof to be more than just a line so I'm going to add a little edge to it and we don't want just raw edges hanging out there so now we're going to use the vanishing lines to figure out where that roof's going to go let's go to the green layer and let's take that peak of that roof all the way down to the vanishing point now we know that somewhere back here connecting a parallel line is going to be the back side of that roof so let's go back to the boxes layer it's blue change our color to black and now I have to kind of eyeball what looks parallel to me and then I'll connect it and I'll connect it now because I did that I'm gonna have some erasing to do there's this line we don't need you see what needs to be erased and this line I no longer need same thing goes for if I wanted to make a roof on this side of this building so let's go back to my vanishing lines again let's make an X here I must have been on the eraser and then I'm going to take the shift key and this is where it's crazy so that's the middle of that roof but it doesn't look like the middle there that's because perspective squishes things as it goes further back so now we're gonna go get the black and get the boxes layer and that's the peak of my roof and this peak is just gonna go straight across until we get to what we think is a parallel line alright good luck